Um, I don't listen to music, which is a little different from a lot of players. I actually just kind of sit there and run through my head, like plays and what I need to do, kind of see my shot. So I kind of just run through it and envision myself on the court right before games to help me get prepared. What are some of the artists or songs you listen to? What was that? What are some of the artists or songs that you listen to? Um, I'm a big Rihanna fan. I also like country, so Luke Bryan. I really like his music. I like Carrie Underwood a lot. Followed her ever since American Idol. Um, I'm really into just like the top 100 songs which you hear on the radio. Do you have any games on the schedule that you're already ready for, you're getting excited for before the season starts? First game of the season, you know, Phoenix Mercury. Uh, what better way to kick off the season? So that's that's going to be fun, and I'm very excited for that game. Do you have any idea how you stack up to play and WNBA players? Have, have you been able to go against any? In, uh... um, I really haven't been able to play against many of them. Um, you know, I do think my versatility, being 6'5", having guard skills, and then also being able to go inside and play the post is going to benefit me a lot. After your last college game, which I know this morning, what's been the best moment since Getting drafted to the Chicago Sky has by far been the best moment. It's a moment that I will never forget, and it's a feeling I can't even describe in words. But when I was up there holding that, that sky blue jersey, it was incredible. Being the skilled player that you are, how does your game measure when you're playing against men? Because I know there's been times where you actually have a chance to probably scrimmage with the Playing against men? Yeah. Is that what you said? Playing against men, I'd have to be a lot more creative and use a lot more of my individual moves, where in college, I faced a lot of double and triple teams where I would be simple and just like a one dribble pull up. But against men, you gotta get really creative with you know my ball handling and even step backs, create more space. But that's definitely helped me a lot to be, become more explosive, quicker, really get that first step by them. No slights to the college team, it's my great for me too. I have to face so many double and triple teams every game. It's going to be amazing not having to face that, and I think it's going to spread the floor a lot also for Sylvia, like I said before. And it's, it's going to be a different challenge, obviously, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun not having to face kind of those junk defenses anymore. Have you worked on your game much since the season ended? Oh, yeah, <laughs> a lot. And um, I've been working out with my brother a lot, too, having him defend me, trying to be get, get uh, more explosive, just really get by him, and then even finishing closer to the rim since he's big, and stronger, faster, quicker, all that. So he's really helped me to prepare. Is that, what you, is that what's the next stop in your game, is explosiveness and finishing near the rim? Is that what you want to work on? Exactly. Yeah, really finishing up close to the rim and uh, just exploding by people getting to the rim a little bit more, but obviously also using my pull-up game, too. I saw on YouTube you actually caught an alley hoop dunk. Yeah. A teammate of yours. Yeah. We see any dunk in the season. I mean, I'd love to, so we'll see if the opportunity uh, is there. I'd love to throw it out a dunk. Uh, college season, you get from season to season, you get the whole summer to train. Now from college going to the WNBA, you've had just a few short months. What's been the difference in your training regimen over the last few months? You know, the training basically has been the same, just a little bit more higher volume where I'm trying to get in four days in the gym, um, really working on my skills, my shot, all of that. So since it's a compact period of time, I really just tried to get in as many workouts as possible before getting out here. In your uh, career, as well as in your academic career, you've been with someone that has been known for exceeding expectations and goals. So what previous expectations and goals do you feel like you've already achieved that will help push you forward to the goals and expectations that you're now going to set in this next part of your career? Well, at Delaware, we never had a national ranking before. Um, a lot of people didn't know about the CAA at all, which was our conference that we came from. So to do that, to put Delaware on the map, to really get that national ranking, get into the Sweet 16 is something that no one thought we could do. 
and um, now it's time to do stuff like that for the sky. So we haven't made playoffs. That's number one. We got to get to playoffs, and then just keep pushing the limits. Do things that people don't think we can do. And I think anything is possible with this team. And I can't wait to join them and just you know start preparing and doing things that haven't been done before and what people don't think we can even do. Did the whole draft process keep you both involved with Scott over here? Oh yeah, um, Skyler and Brittany and I have a great relationship and doing all those 3 to see um, appearances has really helped us to become friends and get to know each other. So we're, we're very good friends and we all respect one another very much. And we have a good time when we're together. And Skyler's hoping you guys can be part of the inaugural at 3-on-3. Three three. Yeah, yeah she that. really wants us to do that. And um, I think that'd be awesome because when you think about it in, in the Olympics, Everybody loves the, the beach volleyball where it's just two on two. So I think three on three could also get a ton of attention, but we'll see what happens with the Olympics. But that's something you definitely want to do. Yeah, I would love, I want to play in the Olympics any way I can. So if it's with the three on three team, I would love that. If it's with volleyball five, I'd love that too. How confident were you that you would be the number two pick? I, you know, <laughs> at the moment where they're calling your name, you're so nervous and you're like, please call my name, please call my name. But really before it all, I felt like I fit into the system really well. And um, what I bring to the table being a versatile guard is something that this team needed. And already having Courtney Vandersloot, I didn't think they would need Skyler, but you never know. Skyler's an incredible player, so um, it was nerve-wracking before they called my name without a doubt. Do you have any community organizations you would like to work with? Yeah, I definitely want to work with the Special Olympics, and um, at some point I'd like to set up a foundation giving back to those with special needs. My sister obviously has impacted my life greatly. If I can be the voice for her and give back to the special needs community, that's something I definitely am going to do.